Hey, what's up guys? This is uh, Jamo, and today I'm really excited to bring you another reaction video. Today I'm going to be watching uh, a YouTuber named Check in Effect Unfiltered. Uh, I've seen a couple of his videos before. He primarily makes videos about Dominican Republic and like Latin American countries and whatnot. Uh, this video I'm going to be watching is called Prostitution in the Dominican Republic. So this will be interesting. I, I've never seen this before, so let's go ahead and dive in. Hmm, okay, they look like working, <laughs> they look like working ladies. What is it? I think, what does Kanye say? He said, a blow job is better than no job. What's going on, guys? Check, Ooh, okay. Check, check. I really appreciate you guys for tuning in this channel. Um, I've been getting a lot of positive feedbacks on the comment, the contents I've been putting out and some are constructive criticism, but I take everything into consideration. When people tell me something, I try my best to fix it. Um, I had put out a video about prostitution in Dominican Republic. Now, for those who haven't seen the video, I'm actually gonna write it down here in the description, description section. It's called uh, The Life of a Dominican Prostitute. Um, not even 50%, I got probably like 40% of my footage. So this is what happens, you know, this is, as you can see, this is the footage this right here let me see let's go down a little bit first of all let's make this a little bigger mm. right here is the video about prostitution and dominican republic this video right here now all this that you see with this little like triangle thing right here those are lost footage so as you can see, the regular ones mm -hmm. are the ones I actually captured. And these right here are lost footage. He told me about this uh, software, I downloaded it, and I was able to retrieve 30 to 40% of my footage. But obviously I lost all the other footages. Um, now this video, this video has three sections. It has part one, part two, and part three. When I start the video, as you can see, this is video. Um, I think I once again we're like almost four minutes into this video and he's still kind of doing a lot of explaining and I mean I understand uh, You know, obviously there's a lot of technical issues and I and I'm in the same way I'm in the same boat. I could say I'm not very tech savvy either uh, but How can I say this is <laughs> Four minutes into the video about this titled prostitution in the Dominican Republic. I feel like this should be titled maybe like I don't know tech issues in the Dominican Republic or something like that. But let's continue watching. I'm gonna go ahead and get to this, this video and explain to you about what's going on in the video. All right, so the video is about inside the mind of a Dominican prostitute. <laughs> so the life of a Dominican mm. prostitute. So I wanted to know what's going on. It's interesting, like, <laughs> I don't know. It's very interesting uh, to hear like I said, I haven't watched all of it. This is just, you know, your my reaction is to say he wants to get into the mind of a Dominican prostitute. I think it'd be very difficult as an African American male to get. I don't know. It's it's, it's interesting. As how can I say, as an African American male to try to get into the mind of a Dominican prostitute without uh, interviewing one. I think, but we'll see. Maybe there's be an interview after this. We'll see. Why is the prostitution so high in DR? Now, when I say high in DR, DR, I believe is the third or fourth. Um, I think Brazil and I would mm. say Brazil and Colombia, I think is number one and two. So DR that is not right. the highest. Sounds possible. But I wanted to know what was in her mind. So just to give you guys a brief synopsis, two girls I interviewed, I lost the footage of the first interview and the third interview. So anyway, the first, the, the second interview, basically what she was saying is that this is not something she chose. It was a mess. It was necessary for her to do it. When she grew, she growing up, when she was 14, she had a relationship, she had a boyfriend and they had sex and her mom, well, I don't know if it was her boyfriend, but she was in a relationship and they had sex and her mom felt said that, well, if you're having sex, you're a woman now. You don't, you don't need to live in my house. Mm -hmm. And she said that I've heard, I've heard her this mom before. <laughs> told her she had to leave, but 
when I, f I found out later, it's not that her mom told her that she had to leave. Her mom basically gave her away for, for money, gave her away for a better lifestyle, gave her to another man. So she met an Italian guy. They got married. And keep in mind, this girl's like 15 years old. So obviously, if a grown man is going to marry somebody who's 15, he must be into young girls, 14, 15. He got to be into young girls. Call that pedophilia. So now in the video, she's 29 years old. And she's, you know, obviously, I think they separated when she was like 20, I don't know, 23, I think. I think she told me they was the devil. One thing I will say, I, I do like the visuals in this, uh, in this kind of retelling of this story. Uh, you know, it, it fits with what he's saying, and um, yeah, I like it. It's good. The room as her address, just so it doesn't come up that she's married by law. Mm. So anyway, um, that's what, what what happened with her situation. I so noticed, after you know, that when you do, when you have, have a platform, you have a lot of streets. people that leave negative comments and obviously positive comments come in at the same time. So before, like, I don't. I don't co-sign to this. Oh, wow. Okay, well, first off, there's a couple of things I want to say. Um, first off, I, I like what, I like what he's saying. Uh, he's give, definitely giving a lot of information about the country, which it sounds, I mean, that sounds right. That sounds very really plausible. I mean, that sounds like it's very real. Um, yeah. Uh, and with the visuals, I, I think he's looping some of his visuals, which is which is interesting um yeah and but what else but yeah but i think it's good and, I, and I, like i said what he's what he's saying sounds uh like i said very plausible it, i think I, I i now i understand why he had such a long kind of explanation because it would have been nice to hear this from the actual from this woman that he's actually talking about in some in some capacity instead of hearing it from his mouth but i understand sometimes you can't it's it's difficult to to get that so, so yeah but other than that it's cool I, I don't know you can't really these women that you kind of see in and out um you know it's interesting are they actually are these women actually you know prostitutes i assume so because he's showing them in, in a video called prostitution in the Dominican republic so i don't know and there's people that just come to play pay to play now, like i said i don't co-sign it or condone it but before people because i already know what's next on the what's the next thing people are going to say when they you know, look at the video that, oh, you're, you know, they thinking that, you know, I must have, you know, linked up with somebody and did a video. But if you listen to the video at that time, the video is old. At that time, I had a girl, a chick. She was with me um, interviewing. You can hear her in the background talking. So that lets you know that it's really just an interview. If you look at her wrong, that's sexual harassment. I mean, they would... They take that serious in the United States, but over in DR. So she had to quit her job uh, having sex because because to get a supervisor. They're, they're not trying. They're not. Uh, one thing uh, I've noticed is that there's some, I think there's a little bit of audio issues. Uh, like he's saying one thing, but then like another sound comes up. <laughs> when that first happened, I thought it was another video I was playing on my computer. A, a recent person commented on my video saying, hey man, you shouldn't be recording these girls. And, and this and this and that, man. Most of these girls, their family, like their friends and family, no, they're not hiding anything. So when you come from the United States, you spend in three, four, five days with this chick, three, four days with her, and popping bottles and doing, you know, giving her money and this and this and that. Once you leave, she's back with her man, and the man don't really care much because the yikes. <laughs> he got another side chick anyway. Mm. So you know what I'm saying? Okay. So, wow. Okay, so that, that was definitely a lot to take in. Uh, I think the video, I think it was, this is, uh, the reason why, first off, the reason why I picked this video is because it was his most uh, popular, or Czech's most popular uh, video, most viewed video. Uh, there was a lot, visually, like I said, I, I, I liked some of it. Uh, I think maybe ethically, like, it's kind of questionable. And one of the reasons why I say that is just because of what he said. He, he, I felt like he explained himself, or maybe he, I don't want to say feel guilty, but like he felt like he had to explain himself. He explained himself a lot, which makes me as a viewer think like maybe this is kind of ethically questionable when it comes to like uh, recording women on the street uh, that you don't know, that you haven't talked to, that you haven't gotten consent from. Uh, so that's so that's one thing. 
Um, the stories, I think the stories are very interesting. Um, just from my experience, I've lived in Dominican Republic. I've talked to people. I've listened to other videos about uh, women in Dominican Republic. I mean, all of that sounds, uh, that sounds true. It rings true uh, to me. However, it would be nice or would have been nice if to hear that from um, a Dominican woman or a Dominicana. Um, yeah, because in the beginning, he was like, he wants to get into the mind of a Dominican prostitute, female, Dominican female prostitute, which, you know, I think I say there's no better way in doing that than just to actually speak to her. <laughs> yeah, you know, and so, yeah, so, but other than that, though, like I said, the video overall was, was, was interesting. Um, there were some audio issues, but other than that, it was, it was interesting. It was very interesting. All right, cool. Anyways, guys, guys, thank you so much for watching this uh, reaction video. If you have any questions, please feel free to ask below. If you want to suggest that I watch another travel vlog video, uh, please feel free to put the link in the comment section, guys. Thank you so much, and bye.